Hey, this is Max with Musician's Friend. We're here at Winter Nam 2018, and we were chatting with Paul Beard of Beard Guitars. How you doing, Paul? I'm doing great today. This is an awesome show here at the Nam Show, and we're showing uh, Beard Guitars off today, and I'm glad you guys stopped by. A couple things about Beard Guitars. I've been uh, making instruments for about 33 years, and it's just been a culmination of um, a love of uh, music and a love of the instrument and trying to make a better instrument. Fantastic. What type of guitars do you usually make? Well, we pretty much exclusively make resophonic or resonator guitars. And of course, that was an instrument that was actually invented in 1927, but it's been refined over the years. And when I started my business, that was my first task, was to make a better playing and a better sounding instrument. So that's when you look at the core line today, that's what you see. Um, and it's, uh, it shows up, in, of course, in the sound, the playability, and all the details in the instrument. What drew you to making resonators? Well, I actually played uh, professionally for a short while, and I found out that uh, I needed a better resonator guitar for myself. At that time, I couldn't find one to purchase, so I thought, you know, I'll build one for myself. It kind of snowballed from there. I uh, was playing out at some festivals and venues and had artists come up to me afterwards and ask, hey, where did you get your guitar? And of course I said, well, I made this, and that's how the business got started. So uh, kind of went from zero to 110 really quick. Yeah, that's great. So as we're looking at your guitars, what really sets them apart in your eyes? That's a really good question. So they're handmade in Hagerstown, Maryland, and uh, I use only the finest materials to, to manufacture the guitars. Um, more so the R&D that has gone into it. Years and years of working on other people's instruments and doing repair, setup, that type of thing. You get a feel for what the consumer wants. And those changes then are implemented in these new designs. So, um, you know, we're using very high-grade parts. Everything is American-made. We make our own metal parts. I personally spin all the resonator cones, and if you don't know what that means, it means that I stand by a lathe and actually shape each cone individually. So it's a little bit like throwing pottery. How long would something like that take you? Well, I can, you know, I can do about 30 a day, but it's, uh, it's not so... It's actually a quick process, but there's a lot of steps that involve setup and, and uh, forming and cleaning of that part. And I'm actually able through the process to um, alter the sound that that cone is going to produce. And if you're not familiar with what we're talking about, I can show you here very quickly. A resonator guitar has a, um, a cover plate, and this is nothing more than just to keep your fingers and uh, out of this area. But below this surface is what we call the resonator or the cone. And that is a very thin aluminum diaphragm, if you will, very much like a speaker that's in your speaker cabinet uh, that you would listen to, you know, uh, music through. It, but that is the part that we're talking about that's handmade. Um, it's very thin, as I mentioned before, and it's the heart of the instrument. It's what produces the sound and what uh, is probably the majority that gives you that soul and its uh, sustain and tone. So it's a very important component. Very cool. So each of these has probably a pretty, pretty personal feeling for you as you're making them, I would imagine. Well, I kind of hate to give them up. After we, be, after we make them, uh, they've got to go out the door, and it, it's personal that way. They're almost like children in a way. But, uh, yeah, they, every guitar has its own voice. Every model specifically has its own voice. So um, it, you really need to look at the models and kind of decide what you're looking for. Um, but but they, are, they all offer something a little different, and um, it's, it's a fun ride. All right, Paul, so uh, why don't you tell us about some of your new designs? Well, we have a, a new product called the Resolux. It's, a, um, it's an electric resonator guitar, but it also has some acoustic value to it. The nice thing about this is you're able to set it home on the couch. You don't have to plug it in. It's loud enough that you can hear it acoustically, but it's really an electric uh, instrument. And the thing that really differentiates it between other products on the market is that it has a magnetic pickup, which gives you an electric guitar sound, but it also has a uh, Fishman pickup in the, uh, the bridge of the resonator, and it gives you the true acoustic value of the instrument. 
The onboard electronics allows you to mix both of those signals together, so it's really diverse with the, the amount of textures and color that you can get with the instrument. And who's making the magnetic pickups? Oh, great question. Jason Lawler, great pickups. Great. Do you, uh, you mind giving us a listen? Absolutely. I'd love to. Paul, thank you so much. What's availability like on these? Well, uh, at Musician's Friend, they're uh, available. Some models are in stock, ready to go. If you're looking for something custom or a model that you don't happen to have in stock, we're looking at about uh, four to eight weeks. Okay. Well, before we let you go, I'm just wondering if you could play something for us. Yeah, I think I can do that. All right. Thank you so much, and if you want to learn more and get your order in, head to musiciansfriend.com.